इच्छा शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति ज्ञाना शक्ति इच्छा शक्ति द विल इन अस द विश इन अस क्रिया शक्ति इज वेन वी विल दैट इन टू पर्पजफुल एक्शन इट बिकम्स अ क्रिया एंड ज्ञाना शक्ति इज आवर विजडम एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दीज Now imagine you have a toddler. What does a toddler do? A toddler does exactly these three things. A toddler has a will to explore and to know and to master things. My little one doesn't get tired of opening up all his cars or, or trying to get to the bottom of why something is the way it is because that's what we do. We want to master. What happens when we lose these things or we lose the very will or the wish to master or the will or the wish for us to explore our environment our brain starts to slow down and the body starts to eat itself up Now, this is where we have a lot of issues we have anxiety we have mental disorders everything starts to go wrong when these three things are not are not taking place in our lives they have to because this is what we're made up of this is what keeps us going the itch the kriya and the nyana now why if we have lost that itch we have lost that will or we have lost that wish get to the root of where you lost it why you've lost it are you going through a period of stagnation even when we go through a spiritual awakening for example or we go through um any form of stress our body might start to shut down to give our body some time to heal to give our brain some time to uh cognize to assimilate exactly what went through that you're not in stagnation as such because something is still happening but i'm talking about stagnation when we've really lost the will to live and you start to suffer from chronic illnesses or chronic depression mental anxiety you sleep a lot people who tend to sleep longer than their body needs to will and do suffer from depression not because you are sad or you are anxious in the present but you've lost the will inside of you there is no wish you don't want to move forward you are disillusioned you might even even be suffering from a complete and total disenchantment with life how do we bring these three things back the first thing we've got to bring back is the itch in us is to bring back the wish to live the will to live the will now to live is to experience life fully right now and the small steps that we can take towards that or towards recreating this will is when you get up in the morning is for you to have your cup of tea or to have a little morning ritual where you just sit with yourself in that stillness and look around you now in that time look around you you might have birds that you watch from outside your window you may not have watch the way you're sipping your cup of tea absolutely become very connected with everything that's going on outside of you try something new try something new to do to learn like i said if you are somebody who loves running try walking today and walking is a wonderful way of stimulating the brain the brain needs something called forward ambulation forward ambulation is put simply just walking forward when you walk forward you give your brain that exercise that it needs because as you're walking the brain is releasing it's processing and take a very slow 20 minute walk and notice everything that happens in that time in your head thoughts will come there'll be things there'll be music there'll be sounds 
And as you're processing all of that, you're taking in whatever your senses are sensing around you. It could be birds, the sounds of cars, the sounds of uh, things that you've never noticed before. Suddenly you might notice that there's a cat in the neighborhood or there is a house that looks a bit different or anything. Now, all of these things stimulate our will. They stimulate our wish. They stimulate our brain. And as the brain is stimulated, they will be a desire to carry on and we will keep renewing the brain. So there's a concept called neuroplasticity. If you don't know it, get familiar with it. Um, and as a result, we carry on and we want to. So it's that, that desire in us that we need to rekindle. When we rekindle that desire in us, and this is why, you know, when we socialize, we meet new people, we make new friends, um, and this is why when you're in a relationship, a lot of people grow apart in that relationship or you just get so used to it that you find other ways of keeping yourself occupied or busy, but you kind of just stick in that relationship together. But unless you are growing or unless you are, um, you, you share the same values um, and you see each other a fresh and new every day you will grow apart and you will end up end up very miserable in a relationship like that so it's a bit like bringing the zing back so you bring the zing back into your normal life by just doing new things just get out of your comfort zone and just try something new it might just give you that little that zing or that zeal that you were missing in your life and you know if you somebody who, who who enjoys sitting a lot maybe instead of doing that sitting going for a, go for a walk if you're somebody who likes to walk not very far from your house maybe get in the car or take the train go somewhere and move out of your comfort zone go to a new place if you're somebody like who enjoys um going on holidays but spending a lot of money going on these luxury trips maybe a hotel that has everything all the amenities how about you book an Air airbnb maybe go out of your comfort zone and go camping instead so try and find these little things that you can do in your life one step at a time maybe you like cooking using a particular saucepan and you just cannot get out of that saucepan habit just change it change the saucepan <laughs> Um, if you're anything like me, I love drinking from one particular mug every day and it will be the same mug. But maybe change it and try something new. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but give yourself at least 21 days to rewire your brain and you might find that you will uh, like doing it. Remember, it's the same, it's the same concept applies to when we want to shift um, a paradigm we want to build a new mindset the more you practice it the more it will stick and this is what we do is when when you have mindsets that don't work for us anymore how to change that mindset is to first identify it but to have the will to want to change the mindset you see because life doesn't happen outside of you life happens in the inside of you and everything that we're experiencing on the outside is exactly what we are on the inside we can take steps to change it by getting out of our comfort zone get out of that particular mindset that you have you have developed and see what's outside of your mindset you might be surprised and you might absolutely fall in love with what's outside of it lots of blessings have a good one